What's up everyone, thanks for stopping by and hope you're having a good day. I am Josh with Vault Hunters Union and uh, today we are actually going to take a look at a, um, a player shack. I am uh, kind of disappointed, I was actually working on bringing you guys a, um, a mod review of the uh, a really cool mod, an idea of a mod that was added to the Nexus, the um, run your own shop mod. However, uh, it's got a lot of problems. Basically it's a mod that allows you to purchase and own and operate your own store and purchase upgrades and, and stock and you can run your higher staff and you basically make profit off it however there's too many bugs if you choose to run it yourself which is what I would do um, the hours are kind of screwed up and I have yet to see a customer come in there unless I wait and then by the time you wait it's it's messed up it's fucked up so hopefully they fix it this is just a little player home mod it's a uh, basically a player home on steroids you're gonna head to the player or to the abandoned shack, which is northeast of Good Springs. Uh, abandoned shack's there right by the Yanks Memorial. And uh, just a little modified version. He also changed up some of the weapons, some of the stuff in, uh, modified a couple of weapons. So you get a reloading bench, you get a, my first infirmary, so you can heal yourself, restore damaged limbs, remove all rads or do nothing. There's some couches, some pharmacy supplies, ammunition boxes. Let's see what's in the ammunition. So you can see lots of ammo, even alien power ammo. Uh, reloading, uh, that's a workbench. Um, sink, this actually is a fresh water one, so there's no radiation from it at all. Lad's life, toilet, um, gun cabinet, so you got lots of stuff. So there's a Marksman 9000 and a Ratzler 9000, so they're modified versions. Uh, in the refrigerator, you get lots of different foods. Uh, a little bit of rads, but some of the best foods you can get in the game. Um, so you got a bed, you got a foot locker, what's in the foot locker? You got 75,000, so you got all the books, four of each book, so I believe what it does is it actually removes 100 stealth boys, stalker armor. Um, I believe what it actually does is removes all the duplicates of all the books throughout the game, so you can no longer get them anywhere in the game, and puts them here. Uh, and then 25,000 bottle caps, that's just insane. I am over encumbered. Um... Why am I over uncovered? Am I playing that hardcore? No, I'm not. Why am I over uncovered all of a sudden? Oh, it's because I picked up the guns, maybe. Marksman 9006. Not 9450. So why. Oh, did I pick up. I picked up everything, didn't I? I did. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and drop some of this stuff. Oopsies. Uh, get rid of some of this shit. So all the books in the game are gone. There, I'll put in here. Which is cool, I mean... So 100 south boys way more than you need. Uh, we're going to go ahead and check out. Um, that's pretty much the player home. We're going to check out some of the new weapons here. So they're the same gun. I believe they look the same. They just are a little bit different. Marksman 9000. Look at the value of the gun. 74,000. So damage per second. Damage is 46. Damage per second 439. It's 72 round magazine. So, let's, so it's basically a sniper rifle um, machine gun. Let's uh, let's find us some enemies to take out here. I do apologize as well, guys, for the absence. Normally, I upload videos every two or three days, but um, I have been pretty busy lately. But hopefully, that uh, hopefully that doesn't uh, stay like that. Just getting back to work. I get laid off from my job for the summer. Just wiping clean in house. I'd like to find a sniper rifle with a huge scope. Uh, Rattler 9000, 74,946 again. Damage per second, 290. Damage 143 again. With both of these, you don't. Oh, the marksman, you need a gun skill of 100. Rattler. So let's compare the original. 
This one has 24 round magazines compared to 8. 1344 value. 74, 946. Damage, per, damage is 143, 190 per second. 61, or sorry, 23 damage, 61 damage per second. 290 damage per second, 143. So way more powerful. Um, let's, uh... So it's silenced as well. I believe the uh, rat slayer is also. There's another one over there. I thought. Oh. So incredibly powerful gun. Um, let's see. Let's get uh, closer to Good Springs and see if anyone we can take out. So really, all this mod is is just a player home on steroids um, you got everything you'd ever need in the game pretty much there in the home lots of ammo even alien ammo which is pretty hard to find um, I apologize guys this is a pretty shitty review not a shitty like, I like the mod but I mean I, I was excited for bring, bringing you the shop mod because I don't think there's any other mods in the game that allow you to run your own store run your own business um, I'm just kinda disappointed that um, things aren't um, things aren't progressing very fast, and the other th thing is that this is version five that they're on. So, uh, but I'm not disappointed with this mod at all. It's it's an overpowered mod, but again, like we I always say, you know, there's nothing, there's not always something or anything wrong with that. Um, I guess it's just what kind of experience you're looking for in the game. There's no way that's not going to kill him. So we are in Good Springs now, kicking some ass with this gun. Hello, sir. Took your head off, bitch. Hello. Alright. So, pretty much one shot's everything. Victor's down in one shot. So, overpowered, yes, but still a lot of fun. I love the wrestler in, in this game. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. Um, I appreciate it if you guys leave a like rating below. And if you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. Uh, I apologize. I'm going to try and get a hold of the author for the, the Run Your Own Shop mod and see if I can get some information or just keep trying to use the mod. But basically, it's a mod that allows you to run your own store like I said and you can you can run it yourself or you can hire somebody and you basically just make profit if you let somebody run it yourself you make insane profit like within 10 seconds of hiring a guy you can get like 100 200 caps um, so it's uh, I want to try and run it myself and but it's hard for me to get customers in there I don't understand the whole idea I know you have to wait but they don't seem to want to come in unless I fast travel or like wait um, instant wait but uh, then they come and then they leave because they're only there for a short amount of time. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video, guys. Hope you guys have a good day. Peace out.